hey, I'm out here in the field today and I'm getting a lot of questions of assessing plant health, specifically in corn. So I thought I'd put together a quick video of some tips that you can look at on your corn plant to assess plant health. Number one, dig the corn plant up, look below ground, squeeze the seed. If you're getting any kind of moisture coming off of that seed or if it pops like a zit, that's an indicator of some early season stress. So we want a nice firm seed. Number two is I like to look at the mesocotyl. I want to make sure that that mesocotyl or that stem between the seed and the growing point is nice, crisp, white, apple-y texture. And that tells me I got a healthy corn plant. If it's discolored or swollen, I know it could be stressed out. And then lastly, I assess the root conditions. So I first look at the primary root system. Those are all the roots around the seed that are coming out of that seed. I want to make sure that there's plenty of root hairs there. And then I got a bunch of seminal roots. So I want three to five seminal roots coming out the backside of that seed. That's going to tell me it was a healthy germination process. And then lastly, looking at that secondary root system or the development of those nodal roots. I should have one ring of nodal roots for every leaf collar above ground on these initial stages. So here you can see I got two leaf corn. I should have two rings of nodal roots and I have one with two on the way. So I'm seeing that some of those nodal roots are a little bit farther behind than what we'd like. Remember that this corn plant is gonna survive off of the seed until about V3 to V4. So we're about 10 days away from that. And so we're still surviving primarily off a lot of those seed nutrients and whatever these little roots can be uptaken. So use that as a guide. Some things that you don't wanna see out in your field and some example would be a swollen mesocotyl or here you can see there's definitely some confusion going on as it was coming up out of the ground. So use these tips to help make recommendations in season on how you're going to treat your corn crop.